All right, so let's talk about what went down on Real Housewives of Atlanta. We can see how the friendships are winding up between the Real Housewives. So the friendships, uh, let's see, the line is drawn in the sand. It appears that Sherry is going to be friends with Marlo as well as Sonya. So these are going to be the three that are going to be going against the other women because, you know, there's got to be some drama. There's got to be a line that is drawn in the sand. And as we can see, Sherry has invited both Marlo and Sonya over to her home. So they was talking about what had went down with Martel and you know uh Cherie is saying how they was coming for her man Martel she said he is not arrogant like he is on his show because she would not have been attracted to him if he acted the same way that he acted on the show so she said that he even picked her up from the airport well okay well then I makes I guess that makes him all right you know, at least they are helping out each other with their shows. But as far as how this relationship is going to end, I highly doubt that these two are going to be walking down the aisle. But that is just my opinion on the situation with Shari and Martel. And as we all know, Kenya got into it with Martel on the last episode and kenya is not afraid to speak her mind she said that once you are a cheetah you is always a cheetah so she must be having some flashbacks about the situation that she is going through that long time divorce that she is going through so yeah but let's move on from the situation between these ladies and let's talk about drew and what is going on with drew and her marriage to ralph so they is trying to work it out but you know we've seen that they have both filed for divorce but for now it seems like these two are together and they are trying to work it out at least on the show but we know that there's a lot of turmoil that is going on in this marriage so drew decided that they would do something that they both like to do and something that they both like to do that is rock climbing this according to drew now drew does not seem to be the one that likes to do the physical activity in my opinion we saw what happened to her when she was in that race over there in jamaica and she sprung her ankle and she had to be in a wheelchair for a while but she is still trying to do the physical activity because she is trying to make this marriage work so they was doing the rock climbing thing in that venue where they were you're not climbing and she's trying to climb with these long fingernails so we know that drew is not physical and it seems like she was about to break her fingernails but she did not give up she made it to the top of the rock climbing thingy but then she didn't know how to get back down and she was bumping and falling against the wall so it is amazing that she made it back down to the bottom in one piece but yet and still she said this is something that they both like to do so anyway they are trying to do things together in order to save the marriage and at the end of the rock climate they had a heart to heart talk well anyway they was talking to each other and uh, he she was telling Ralph that you know she's getting into her singing thing now and how does he feel about it so you know he was uplifting he was you know he was with it he said that they are like Ike and Tina and you know I'm sure everybody was thinking man you hit the nail right on the head <laughs> but Drew was not having it she was appalled she was like she thought that there was more like beyonce and jay-z but he is talking about they is like ike and tina and that reminded us of how he was treating her on the last seasons of the real housewives of atlanta and we, we was like uh-huh that is right mm -hmm, you got it ike and tina so yeah this is what is going on with you and ralph they are trying to save their marriage but it doesn't seem like it's going to work out in the end for them well they have filed for divorce they haven't you know signed on a dotted line yet and if it's anything like kenya and what her divorce is it could take years so they might have some years to try to work out this situation we see that candy has been going somewhere but anyway she is meeting with um don one and uh, she's making out all this list of things that she has to do and one of the things that she has to do um apparently now she has to go see drew 
because Drew is going to be performing with Candace. You know, Candace from the Real Housewives of Potomac. So apparently, Candace is on tour. Who knew that Candace was on tour? Uh, she did have that hit song. She performed it on this episode. Um, that song that she had with Trina, you know, that Trina was rapping on. So anyway, Drew went to Candy's performance because Candy's invited her as a special guest. And Candy's, we can see, is doing her thing while she's on tour, shaking her little body up there on the stage, kind of beyonce S and got that hair blowing in the wind. So she is taking notes from Beyonce, as we can see. So she is doing her thing. She is going all out on her performances. And then Drew came on the stage. Now, Candace, she is, you know, have on her sexy outfit with on some type of tights or stockings or something. But, you know, it was form fitting. You could see the shape of her body. And then we see Drew coming out like she is going shopping or something. Like, what kind of outfit do you have on? And you coming up here on the stage, but she was on the stage only on the stage for a millisecond. So I'm thinking, you know, Candace invited her to perform so that she could invite other people to come to the venue. So that was smart on Candace's part to have other people to come to her show, you know, to make that money. I'm sure that they probably paid to come see them perform. So that was smart on Candace's part. And at the same time, I think that Drew did not want to overshadow Candace because I'm thinking that I see Drew in better looking outfits than this. I mean, you know, that outfit that she had on, it seems like, you know, it's something that you would wear shopping at a mall or something where you're just hanging out or something, not an outfit that you would go up on stage to perform on if you want to be a singer in this day and time. So I'm thinking that, you know, she did not want to overshadow Candace. She didn't want to get kicked out of the venue. You know, if you try to outdo somebody, you know, and they invite you to perform at their show. Because we seen her when she was singing that happy birthday song. Who was she singing that happy birthday song to? I don't forget now, but she did it very well. And we knew, we all know that Drew can sing. And uh, right after the venue, after she performed, it seems like the ladies got into it once again. Because they were talking about Bravo Con. And Sonya was not feeling the way that Drew Sidori was acting at Bravo Con. The way that she brought up and said that she felt like Sonya was coming at her. Well, I have to be team Drew in that situation because it did seem like every chance that you got, you did come for Drew. If I remember the last season correctly, the, that is just my thought and opinion on the situation. But it seems like y'all are going to move past it once again. As y'all always do, you say you got to move past it. But I'm sure that Sonya got something up her sleeve because she is going to bring some more drama to the show. I am sure because she's already shading people. You know, she said that she uh, took longer to win her gold medal, I think, in the 400-yard dash than Drew had time up there on the stage performing there with Candace. So the shade is coming. The shade is real. And then Drew did mention about the situation that had happened at Candace restaurant but Candy was not feeling that you talking about a legal situation about somebody that worked at her restaurant even though I don't think it happened inside the restaurant where this person was pow pow but at the same time I think there's a situation that is going on and it might be a legal situation Candy is not going to be talking about that and this a legal situation and he'll go Marlo talking about they can just throw candy situation under the rug but you know they talk about everything about her how she used to date old white men and I forgot what else she used to do but they can't talk about candy but this is a situation that is still ongoing with candy and then she talking about she was triggered when Drew brought up the situation about what had happened with the worker at Candy's restaurant. And she was triggered because I guess she had a relative that used to work for Candy that was pow pow. And I was thinking, dang, did this happen at Candy's restaurant? What is really going on? The way that she was talking about it. But come to find out that he was pow pow by his roommate, I guess, in their living 
quarters or wherever they was living and it had nothing to do with Candy's restaurant except that he used to work at Candy's restaurant before and she was going off on Drew for this and Drew could not Drew look so puzzled it was very puzzling because she gonna interject that situation and try to act like Candy is getting away with not talking about situations and she's going to talk about I think she said it was her nephew you know that is not here anymore so that's unfortunate that is an unfortunate situation but I am like Drew I am puzzled about why you were shouting at Drew for this so that was really puzzling so there is a lot of drama there is a lot of craziness that is going down already on Real Housewives of Atlanta and it seems like there is more drama that's to come now one person that did not show up for the performance to support Drew was Sheree so it seems like Sheree is not going to be supportive of Drew on this season so it seems like these friends are going to have a lot of drama that is coming in the next few episodes and it seems like Manetta is not on the sidelines anymore and she is letting the ladies have it and she uh, was having confrontations with Marlo so it seems like Manetta is coming out of her quiet phase and she is going to contribute to the drama as well so of course she wants to keep her peach on the real housewives of atlanta so she knows that she is going to have to bring the drama also so yeah so we did see marlo interacting with her two nephews you know marlo i think marlo might be the only one that has not been married that is on the show but still everybody cannot get married even though it's called the real housewives everybody have their situation marriage is not for everybody but she does have a family dynamic that she brings to the show and she has been in counseling and it seems like she is doing better and she is taking care of her, her nephews so she's stepping up to the plate and one of the nephews they want a thousand dollar pair of sneakers for christmas i mean what is going on what kind of sneakers are these i mean are these sneakers that you can fly in i mean will you be able to be uplifted i mean float or something i mean what is going on uh these kids want thousand dollar shoes i mean what kind of shoes are these but anyway marlo is contemplating and buying him these shoes you know if he is able to make straight a's so okay i mean you were spoiling them before i mean don't do it again you might need to go see that life coach again before you bury those thousand dollar sneakers i am just saying so anyway um this is what went down on this episode this is the drama that's going on candy is not feeling the girl the girl i guess is alluding to candy being ghetto and so Courtney said that Candy brings the hood out. Well, Candy said she brings everybody out. Candy said she is the one that brings people out. She brings them out, brings them out. Okay, I guess everybody come to see Candy. She be, uh, she can sing, uh, she can act. Uh, you know, she has businesses. I mean, she can do it all. She got her own commercial with her son. What about that cute little commercial for Kentucky Fried Chicken that they play every time the Real Housewives of Atlanta comes on? That is such a cute commercial with she and her son Ace. So just my thoughts and opinion what happened on this episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Let me know what you think about the drama. And what do you think about the friend dynamics. And who is going to be against who. Who is acting nice right now. And who do you think is going to be going to drink bang the drama. And also I just want to mention about Mama Joy still shading Todd. Because they brought that up as well. Because Marlo said Candy need to watch her own house. And what the streets are saying. And the streets are her mama now this is what Milo was saying because when uh mama joyce i guess was at bravo club they still they be inviting mama joyce when the last time mama joyce been on the real housewives i mean she just had little snippets here and there but they still be bringing her to bravo club and seem like mama joyce every time she gets she shakes hard and she was talking about she wished candy had married somebody with a little bit more height and I believe she was talking about with a better job as well. So she is still shading Todd after all of these years. So Mama Joyce is just going to be Mama Joyce. That is just all it is to that. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Leave a comment below. Like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's your girl Liz. Keeping up the biz. And I am out. It's Liz with the biz. It's Liz with the biz. 
is Liz with the biz. Is Liz with the biz. Is Liz with the biz. Yo, this is Liz with the biz. Is Liz with the biz. Telling it how it is. And she gonna keep it real. Cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the biz.